Welcome back to another episode of the Salty Twins. We are out here in Charleston, South Carolina. We went gigging for some flounder, some pancakes. We're gonna be doing a catch, clean, and cook for you guys today. A flounder catch, clean, and cook with Ricky. We'll see you Welcome back to the Salty Twins. I'm Ricky, Tony's behind the camera, and we are gigging for flounder today. I'm excited. Ooh, that was a little fishy. <laughs> I'm trying to touch everything. You worry about everything else, and, like you won't be settling on the fish, but we'll get you there. That's Steven, good friend of mine. Yeah, I'm excited. Ricky's a bait guy, so I love the bait. Give you that one. Good, Rick. Cool. We're gonna cruise up to this bank oh. and uh, use the gig to make sure that we don't run into the bank. So what's gonna happen is, is I'm gonna keep us from scraping the shore. You're gonna keep us pushed up on the shore. Okay. I already think I see a flounder. Give us a nice, easy, slow push forward. You don't have to like pull us hard forward. We're gonna let the current do the work. We're just gonna guide the boat as we go down the road. Flounder, see it? Where? Right there. He's legal, okay? Where? Right here. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So you see, oh, I see him. You see his eyes lit up right there? Right here. Here, and go okay. straight down just past the eyes. Right here? Hard, hard, straight down. Pin them to the ground. All right, now hold them there. Don't do anything. Did I just get a flounder? Just got a flounder. Oh! Right? So what I do is I come in with another stick, mm -hmm. and I take the two gigs and I spin them together. Okay. Yeah, baby! Yeah! Ricky's first flounder. Let's go! Dude! That's sick. We literally just pulled up, and in a matter of 20 seconds, got the first flounder. I didn't even see it. Yep. You gotta have an eye. You have to have an eye for it. Yeah. Like what I saw was I saw a hump. I okay. saw that, even though he looked like the bottom, yeah. I saw an unnatural hump from far away. And so, you'll learn a little bit more as we start going. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. Dude. So this, this. Solid stuff, Rick. Let's go. Fish number one. That's a good sign. It'd be like a really great spot. It doesn't look well. I mean, I, you could maybe see one here, but um, let's just keep pulling along the bank. And we'll try to get into a, a spot where it's shallower. There you go. Just guide us around that. Keep us from rubbing the bank pretty much. Okay. Just nice and slow and easy. A lot of guys like to use generators and trolling motors and stuff, but I don't like the noise. I like to come out this here. is super peaceful. It is. I like to come out here with batteries and enjoy it. Where is he? There. Oh, yeah. That's a good eye. There he goes. The person on this side of the boat gets a different perspective uh -oh. than over here. Both of them have their own benefits and disadvantages. So we've been fishing for uh, quite a while and only have that one flounder so far. Now we're just going back, doing the same drifts. The tides come down quite a bit, as you can see. We were fishing maybe a foot and a half, two feet higher. And we should be able to pick more and more off as, as the tide goes lower. So that's just what we're doing. Rick, watch your get. Should I go for it? So it looks like you've got them pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and start too. There you go. There you go. Yes. Oh yeah, baby. Ricky saw him and stuck him. Let's go. Dude, that thing's gnarly. Let's see. Do it like that and then he should pop out. Okay. Look at that flounder right there. Look at that flounder. He's moving. He's gonna go. Bust him all over. Okay, yeah, good. He's gonna be gone here in a second. There you go. All right, I'll just like there we go. Drag him, drag him over to you. Last night, we ended up getting five. Spent, what, four hours on the water. We're gonna get into cleaning it right now, and then after we're done cleaning, we'll uh, be in the kitchen cooking it up. The tank, look at his teeth, dude. Show them their teeth. If you guys did not know, flounder have teeth and they are gnarly. Jeez. Super, super sharp. Make a cut towards the head. I go down towards the stomach. 
So I just run my knife down the backbone. Just filling it, letting my knife do all the work. I come out the back side of the tail, work it out. Then I'll lift up the meat and just work my knife along the backbone while lifting up the meat with my other hand if I can. And with more practice, you'll get better and better. Up until this year, I had never filleted a flounder. But now I'm not doing terrible. Once I reach the middle of the backbone, the spine, I go up a little bit and then come down on the other end. And just take your time. It's the biggest thing is just take your time, don't rush. There is no rush. Only the band rush. There's a band called Rush? Yeah. It's from Disney. There we go. Almost no meat right there. Put my knife. And I'm just running my knife along that backbone. Right here, I'm just lifting up. Lay it down. Wow. Look, Look at that. I can see Tony through it. Oh, you want to see what's in his belly? There's something in his belly. Okay. Digested fish of some sort. I'll tell you what, it does not smell very good right here. What is it? There's. I don't know, but stuff. it does not. It's probably a pinfish, dude. It smells so good. Oh, <laughs> golly, Miss Molly. Whew. He's going to go rinse his hands. Look at his dog. His dog loves him. Mahi loves honey. After I take the fillets, what I do is I cut them in half. It just makes it easier to fillet them, separating those bottom loin from the top loin. There we go. That looks really good, dude. This <laughs> is two flounder done. Now that one's already rinsed. I'm gonna rinse this one, clean this up. We're gonna go ahead and finish these three flounder up and then we will see you guys in the kitchen. What I did, I dried up all the flounder as much as I can and then I put them on here. So we're just gonna take the paper towels out or off the fish. We're gonna put them back on the plate. Then we're gonna set the oven. We're setting it to 375 and we are making Parmesan crusted flounder. Get that right, Rick. A Parmesan crusted flounder. Oh, so the side is sauteed spinach and mushrooms, eh? Say hi, Louis. Do I give him any of this? Good oh, boy. Sure. Give him just a whole, that piece right there. This one? Yeah. This whole thing? Yeah, he'll eat it one bite. No, Ray, what are you doing? <laughs> you said give it to him. <laughs> now you gotta cut off that little piece before what? you put it back on there, because he touched it with his nose. Say hi. What do I do with this? Say hi, Louis. Say hi. Maybe you go give him some bone. It's a big piece. Dude, that's a massive piece. Oh, aren't you the happiest cat ever? Now we gotta get Mahi some so he doesn't get jealous. Mahi, you want some fish? Lay down. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to leave it on here and then just wrap it? Sure. Look at all that. All I gotta say is a huge shout out to Tony uh, for starting the Salty Twins. He is the flounder of the company. <laughs> no, but seriously, the flounder was super upset last night because mm -hmm. he was looking at me sideways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna taste so good. So we're just waiting. We got all this stuff. Parmesan crusted flounder. Get it right. Get it. Hey, hey. Oh, 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 get it. Do the flounder dance. Do the flounder dance. Hey. So we have salt, we have pepper, we have Himalayan garlic powder, we have paprika. We have onion powder, and we have olive oil. I have some olive oil, you wanna mix it up. <laughs> and then I brush it on the fish. I get the olive oil on the fish, like that. So next we're gonna lightly season the fish. So we're gonna start with the garlic powder. <laughs> That's onion powder. <laughs> we're gonna lightly season the fish, we're gonna start with the onion powder. We're gonna just do a little hoobity hoobity. And now we have garlic powder. Now we're gonna do paprika. Ooh, paprika, a little spice. And then some salt, fresh from the Himalayan mountains. And some pepper. Just kidding. There we go. Ooh. And so he's putting that. Paprika cheese. 
All right, so we're just gonna put this in for 15 minutes and then we're gonna check it, see how it is. And we will let you know. And there she is. All right, so we're just gonna throw some bacon in here. The old switcheroo. It's Tony now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take out the bacon. Oh yeah. Put it on the cutting board. There we go. Dump in half the mushrooms. Right in the chicken grease, or right in, <laughs> we're dumping the mushrooms right in the bacon grease. But if you guys want to see us do more catch, clean, and cooks, just let us know in the comments below. If you guys want to see a certain type of fishing or a certain type of video, just comment in the comments below, and that gives us the ability to um, kind of create the type of fishing that you guys want to see. So now we're going to add some bacon. Look at that, my man, my man. This is the finished product. This is a crusted Parmesan flounder. So sauteed spinach, bacon, and mushroom. Uh, but I'm gonna take the first bite. I just changed, as you can tell, we are actually filming a bass fishing video for next week. If we catch bass, it will be posted next week. If we don't, then it won't. <laughs> it's cooked to perfection, bro. Can't even get it. Oh, that's bomb. That's good. That's really good? Mm-hmm. You want more? Okay. It's hot. Yeah, it's really hot. That's good, huh? That's really That's good. super good. I'll try the... That's really good. Yeah, so if you guys want to see more Catch, Clean, and Cooks, let us know. I know we haven't done... Mm many in a while but we are all for it thank you for staying to the end of the video if you like what you saw make sure to hit that like button and until next time stay salty dude that's so good okay. we gotta go huh. we gotta go thank you. man that's so good.